The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, second chapter, text number 15, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August 21st, 1973, in London, England. Translation O best among men, Arjuna, the person who is not disturbed by happiness and distress, and is steady in both, is certainly eligible for liberation. Krishna is addressing Arjuna, who is our power, the best of the man. <clears throat> oh, the best of the man. Certainly, Krishna is the best of the man, Tamil, because he is uh, directly friend of Krishna. Who can be better man than he? The best of the man. So, the best of the man, why he is distressed? in ex executing his duty. <coughs> Therefore, this very word is you, that you are the best of the man. Uh, actually, uh, the best of the man should not be disturbed by any material condition. He should discharge his duty. Uh, and what is the duty? Duty is to become immortal. This is the deed. The lowest of the man does not know how to become immortal. Amrita. Amrita means death, and Amrita means no death. Uh, the modern national civilization cannot understand that there is possibility of become, becoming immortal. <coughs> they are taken it, accepted it. Well, who can stop? They are simply scientifically calculating that some day will come by science, it shall be immortal, there will be no death. <coughs> the formula is given here by Krishna how to become immortal. So that means you should be callous of the so called happiness and distress of this material form. That is the first quality. One who doesn't care what is the distress and happiness of this body, he must execute Krishna consciousness. That is the quality. Oh, I cannot execute Krishna consciousness because there are some inconveniences. Uh, he is not fit for becoming immortal. Uh, people do not know that they can, we can become immortal. Immortal we are, but we have been embodied in this material body, therefore we have to accept uh, mortality, birth and death. <coughs> These things uh, stated in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, this is beginning of spiritual life. Spiritual life means uh, how to become immortal. Uh, they come to ask me, uh, sir, do you know some spiritual magic? Uh, and Kulapundri, Yo, these are all for material magic. Spiritualist means something magic uh, so that you can get some material benefit. Uh, if by stretching your hand you can get some little quantity of gold, uh, then you are spiritualist. Uh, oh, here is a man, wonderful spiritualist. He can create gold. Uh, he can cure 
disease by simply uh, what is called queen uh, like that. They want to see magic only for material benefit. What is called miracles. That is spiritual. Uh, not <coughs> Spiritual life means how to become immortal. Amitāyaka. So Amitāyaka. Krishna has explained. Mātras parśāsya kaunti ya sītūsna sukhudukkhada āgamā pāyana anitya kāna titikha sabāra. Don't be disturbed by the sensuous disturbance of the body. Become dhīra. Dhīra tattva namayyati. Become dhīra. So one who has practiced to become dhīra, not to become disturbed by the sensuous or bodily sensations, he is supposed to be conquered. He is supposed to be to become immortal at the end. And the Bhagavad says also that you do not become a spiritual master. You do not become a father. You do not become a mother. You do not become a friend, a relative. In this way, if you cannot make your subordinate immortal, pita nasasya, guru nasasya, guru nasasya, janani nasasya, pita nasasya. In this way, there is a list. You become father of hundreds of children. That's all right. No uh, restriction. Uh, you beget children. But you must make your children immortal. Uh, that is immortal. You have become guru, that's all right, Guruji Maharaj. That's all right. But make your disciples immortal. Otherwise, don't, don't cheat others. Cheat us. Uh, illicit father, illicit mother. As you said, illicit sex. Similarly, illicit father, illicit mother. Who is illicit father, illicit mother? Who cannot make his children immortal? That is the aim of his life. How to become immortal? Uh, how not to become, we are immortal. It's like a person is disease, attacked by fever. Fever is not uh, his natural condition. Uh, but somehow or other he has got fever. Similarly, we are immortal, that we have explained. Najayati namriyateva. The living entity never takes birth, never dies. They are immortal. Immortal means no birth, no death. That is immortal. Whenever there is birth, there is death. If there is no birth, there is no death. That is immortality. So the whole skin is baby skin, not otherwise. How to become immortal? When you find in many places, the Sastra only aims at. In another place, in Bhattikabha, when Vishamitra Muni came to see Maharaj Dasarath to ask his son, Ramchandra and Lakshman, to take them, they were boys at that time, and there was a demon 
disappearing in the forest. So, Vishal uh, not that side. Vishamitra <laughs> Muni came to Maharaj Dasarat for help. That Vishamitra Muni could kill that demon immediately. But that is not the business of the Brahman. Killing business is for the Chhatri. Uh, let's see how. He was quite pow- powerful. He could kill that demon simply by saying that he died. He was so powerful, Vishamitra Muni. But he still he came to the king for help. So when Vishamitra Muni came to Maharaj Dasara, as we ask, how are you? So Dasarat, Maharaj Dasara uh, inquired from you, uh, from Vishamitra Muni, Oi Hishtanga Punajyama Jayaya. My dear, sir, uh, if there is anything disturbance in your uh, occupation, because you are trying to conquer over death, all the great rishis and saintly persons, all spiritual realization means to conquer over death. Uh, so this was the question. You are trying to walk over repetition of birth. Uh, the modern civilization, they do not know that it is possible. Uh, it is possible to become immortal, to have uh, eternal, blissful life of knowledge. That is called immortal. Satchit uh, ananda. Sat means eternity, and chit means uh, knowledge, and ananda means pleasure, bliss. We are part and parcel of Krishna. Krishna is Satchidananda Vidraha. He is a transcendental body, he is eternal, uh, blissful, and complete knowledge, his body. Therefore he is speaking Bhagavad Gita. If he is an ordinary man, what is the use of hearing it? Ordinary man will commit mistake, will cheat, uh, will be illusioned, his senses are imperfect. How he can give complete knowledge? That is not possible. Therefore we are not concerned to hear any rascal. We want to hear Krishna. We are not prepared to hear any rascal, so-called scientist and so-called philosopher, so-called God. No. We are not prepared. Because everyone is rascal. Everyone is full of mistakes. Everyone is trying to cheat at us. Everyone is illusion. And everyone's senses are imperfect. How we can give knowledge perfect? That is not possible. Uh, therefore, we have to select Guru. Guru means Krishna as Arjuna has selected Guru. Shishyasteham sadimam prapannam. And I become your Shishya, disciple. Uh, and I surrender to you. So, to get perfect knowledge, we have to find out Krishna or Krishna's bona fide representative. Then there is perfect. Then we can become immortal. Unless we get perfect knowledge, then so. So, Krishna is Satchidananda Vidraha, immortal. Krishna is full of bliss, full of knowledge, and we are also part and parcel of Krishna. So we have also the same quality, Satchitananda, the spiritual body. But because we have contracted this material nature, our blissfulness 
our eternity, our knowledge, everything is now disturbed. Everything is now disturbed. We cannot be completely blissful. Anything is there. Any pleasurable thing is there. It cannot give you uh, all a uh, pleasure. It is not possible. This is not possible. In this particular. However, you may try scientifically to prolong your duration of life, live forever, it is not possible. Uh, and however you may pose yourself, cheat others that uh, you are the best man in knowledge, philosopher, scientist, you are a fool. That is not possible. Uh, Satchidananda Migra is Krishna only. Uh, so we can also become like Krishna, along with Krishna, not outside. We can be living for along with Krishna. So Krishna is also very much anxious to take us back to him. Therefore he comes. Jada Jada hi Dharma Sarvani Bhuti Bharat. Sadatmanam Sijama. When these rascals forget that unless he goes back to home, goes back to Krishna, he'll never be happy. That is the discrepancy of occupational duty. Yaptam uh, here, Krishna Bhuliyaji Bhogavan Shakar, Yaptam here to enjoy the Lord it over the material nature and has become entangled. Uh, so Krishna comes, descends to save us, uh, to give us shelter at his lotus feet so that we may also become Immortal like Krishna, full of bliss and full of knowledge. Uh, that is called Amrita. So unless you have got our aim, target of life, uh, then what is the value of life? Uh, this is Amrita thought. Is there any institution, is there educational uh, institution or university or college where this teaching is given that how you can become immortal. Is there any institution in the world? Throughout the whole world? No. That simply teaching that you live like animals and die like animals. That's all. You live like cats and dogs and you die like <coughs> dog, and again become cats and dogs. Puna puna charita charvana. Nati vidu sārta patim hi viṣṇu durā sayāji bhadirathamāni. Andhāja thāndhai rupani yamāna. Vipi satantra urudāni vadhyā. Matinna Krishna parato satova mitho vipadita vihambratana adanta gohi visatan tamisham puna puna char vita charvana naisham matishtavadurukraman vim visatanatha upa vamoja dhatka niskin chalana padra jovisita mahina sangana vrnita ja. This is Prahlad Maharaj's instruction. That the, who has instructed his father, materialist, first class materialist. Uh, so, when he inquired that what is your purpose that you have become Krishna conscious? Uh, how you have become Krishna conscious? So he answered, uh, he did not ask him, he addressed him as my father. Uh, he addressed him, Asura uh, Vajra, the first class demon. He never addressed him, my dear father. My dear first class demon. This little boy, five years old, because he is Krishna concerned, and the father is threatening him always to kill, still he is not afraid. 
When it says, where from you are not discouraged? Well, last, uh, my dear father or my dear demon, uh, I have got discouraged, where from you have got discouraged. Uh, but you are forgetting. That is the difference. You have got so much power that you can defeat anyone, even the demigods. You should know that you have got this power from the power pole, but you are not obedient to the power pole. That is demand. Demands have the great power. They think that I have got it, I have earned it. It is my thing who can challenge me, but he forgets that everything can be withdrawn within a second by the power pole. That is demonic. And Vaishnava, devotee means, although he is very, very powerful, he never thinks that I am powerful. He thinks that I am acting simply by the order of the power. This is the difference. Uh, so, Pradhan Mahara says, uh, yeah, People do not know the aim of life. The aim of life is yet Amritattva, as good as Krishna, as good as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, blissful, full of knowledge and eternal. That is the aim of life. That people do not know. Nati vidu sārta dhati means Vishnu. Vishnu means the Supreme Lord who is eternal, full of bliss and full of knowledge. So our aim should be how to approach Vishnu. Then we get the same power, same eternity, same blissfulness. Just like a motor car is running at the speed of sixty miles, and if a cyclist somewhere or other catches the motor car, he can also go at the speed of sixty miles. Sometimes boys do that. Similarly, you approach Krishna, you approach Vishnu, you get all the powers. Because you become under protection, protection of the that Tulsidas has said that in the ocean, uh, the waves of the ocean, if you put one elephant very powerful, very strong, uh, the elephant will be washed out by the waves. But a small fish, a teeny fish, it is swimming against the waves. They take pleasure. The fish, when the waves are coming this way, the fish go in that way. Now see, you pull against the waves, and the elephant, it will be washed out. Why elephant? Any strong thing is it. Uh, even big, big fish, uh, it will be washed out. But a small fish, it doesn't care the way, it goes against the way. Wow. It has taken the shelter. It has taken the shelter of the ocean. Similarly, uh, all the power belongs to Krishna. Jatra Yogi Sarahi. But if anyone takes shelter of Krishna, he becomes as powerful as Krishna. This is the problem. Uh, but we do not know. We want to become powerful here by so-called uh, science, so-called yoga, kundalini, and what other nonsense they are. They are trying to be immortal, powerful. No, sir, that is not possible. It is not possible. Therefore, uh, people do not know. Nothing we do. They do not know. Sartapatim hi Vishnu, our aim should be how to approach Vishnu, how to go back to home, back to God. Nati vidu sartapatim hi Vishnu, durasaya. They are hoping, 
very durasamani, uh, very badly wrong, that they want to be happy by adjustment of this material world. Means, yogi process is also another material gymnastic. Uh, uh, we have not heard any yogi has become successful to get immortality. No. That's not possible. Nati vidu sāta gati ni viṣṇu durāsayāji bhotiratthamāya. Those who are trying to adjust this material world by science or yoga uh, without caring for Vishnu, uh, what they are? Andhā, they are blind. Andhā. And their leader, they are also blind. Andhā jatha rupanyamāna, andhūna. One blind man is trying to lead another blind man. So what is wrong there? They isha kantra bhadhyā. They are bound up by the laws of nature and then that's tight. <coughs> How they can become free and happy by such endeavor? That is not possible. So, so simply by taking Krishna consciousness, it will be ninth yes. Uh, so how to take Krishna consciousness? So that is also answered by Prahlad Maharaj. Madhimna Krishna parato satova vitho vipadri tadri sambhatana. Krishna consciousness cannot be awakened for a person who wants to stay in this material world and become happy. He cannot become Krishna consciousness. Vrtana. Griha uh, means home. And Vrtana. Vrtana is one who has taken the house or home or this body as everything. Vrta. Vrta means so just like we are observing this today. And Janmasthani Vrta. Under how uh, we shall pass an austerity. Uh, the aim is different from the Grihabrata. Grihabrata's aim is how to decorate the home, how to become happy in this home, in this world, in this material world. Uh, uh, that is there. So they cannot become Krishna conscious. Uh, one who has become callous of this material happiness, he can become Krishna conscious. That way it is said, yes. Gamhi navatante iti. These material things, uh, seasonal changes, so-called happiness, so-called distress, if one is not disturbed, there is no cause of disturbance. Uh, this is another foolishness. Why one should be disturbed? Uh, because the so-called happiness, or happiness, or distress, whatever you are destined, to receive, you must get it. Oh. You try or do not try, it doesn't matter. Whatever portion of happiness you are destined to get, you'll get it. And whatever portion of, because this material life is mixture, you cannot get unadulterated happiness or unadulterated distress. Uh, no, that is not. You'll get distress and happiness both. Therefore, Krishna has explained in the previous verse. Uh, <coughs> here also, Janghina Bhattanti iti Matrak Parsasta Kumpya Sridhus Dasuka Dukha. Here in this material world, there is winter and the counterpart Samaras. In the winter, we ask for, uh, it could have been warmer. That means you want summer. And again, summer, you require. You ask why has it been, uh, as it is, cooler? You apply cooling machine. So this is our stuff. In the summer, we apply cooling machine. And in the winter, we apply heating. So undisturbed happiness, either in coolness or warmth, you cannot have. This is not possible. Therefore, we have to become cat. But the material person, they are disturbed. Uh, a little winter, little chilliness, immediately. Bring electric heater, immediately. 
Or if there is too much hot, bring fan, bring cooler. So they are busy. Uh, how to adjust this material disturbance? But they do not think that why these material disturbances are disturbing me, I do not want them. That question is They seem to struggle how to counter it. Uh, struggling like food. Uh, but here is the solution. Here is the solution. The solution is that don't be disturbed with this cooling and heating machine. Uh, uh, be pleased in whatever condition Krishna has placed you. Of course, there is no harm if you can put yourself in a comfortable. But simply for putting yourself in comfortable situation, don't forget Krishna. That is all. Simply for making adjustment of this material condition of life, if you forget Krishna, then you lose everything. That uh, in the Bible also, uh, what, there is a... Yeah. Uh, repeat it. That's it. Uh, that should be the end. That we are eternal. So, we must be again replaced in our eternal life. But if you forget this mission of life and simply become uh, engaged, how to become happy in this material world, how to avoid distress and how to get happiness, people are engaged in that way. Simply trying to get happiness and avoid distress, and forgetting that he has got a mission of life to realize his self and go back to home, back to God. This is the defect of the modern civilization. So, Bhai Rathamāna, Krishna parato sato vā mito vipadvita vihabhrakāna. So, they are conferences, they are United Nations, they are scientific advancement, they are educational system, uh, philosophy, and so on, so on. Everything is meant for how to become happy in this material world. The aim is how to become happy here. And that is not possible. These rascals, they cannot understand. Uh, if you want to become happy, then you must come to Krishna. Mahamukita Kaunti of Dukhalam Sasatam. Not Nubanti. Krishna says, if somebody comes to me, then he does not again get this place which is full of misery. Dukhalam. This material world is explained by Krishna as Dukhalam. Alam means flesh and Dukha means this place. Everything is distasteful here. But fools being illusioned, like covered by the illusionary Maya, that this there she accepts as happiness. That is my Simply chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Nam. And gradually you realize how to become immortal. Thank you very much.